Do you have an Easter egg in the game? Well, I don't want to tell you what it is. <laughs> <laughs> when it's time to add a new mob to Minecraft, the first thing we have to do is to decide which mob. Um, in the case of a camel, we talked about some different mob ideas we had, and then all of us kind of wanted the camel. Really. Yeah, yeah. And then the, the the big idea or the big question comes like, how do you connect that to the gameplay in Minecraft? Yeah. 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 No, no, you can. <laughs> You're like, yes, yes, this is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the process of implementing a mob into the game usually starts with us just putting the the model into the game. So we create the model, we put some textures on it, and then we start testing out different behaviors in the game. So usually it is pretty bare bones in the beginning, and then we iteratively add things that we thought might be might be fun or might be interesting. And for the first looks of the camel as well, we basically had a teddy bear with two humps. I shouldn't say it's ugly, it's very pretty. <laughs> but, um, uh, prop we spend a lot of time on that. <laughs> play around with. <laughs> Just to get a kind of a first feeling of what the camel would be in game, uh, that was pretty fun. We do a little bit of paper design, but then we just want to code it into the game so we can feel like how does it interact with everything else in, in Minecraft because we see it as like one ecosystem. Everything needs to work together. And so, so yeah. So since we're working on a sandbox game, we already have hundreds of blocks, items and mobs with which the mob has to interact with nicely. And this provides a lot of situations where a thing can go wrong with the mob that we don't even predict when we start making it. So for instance, with the camel, we have this behavior where you can sit down and stand up, which we think is really cute and unique to the camel. It sounds pretty straightforward to just make a mob sit down and stand up, but we noticed pretty early that it wasn't as straightforward as we imagined it. When we started making the camel sit down, it didn't have any interactions with any mob in the rest of the world. So when it got attacked by a zombie, it simply sat there, completely unbothered by the fact that it was getting attacked. We thought we had to change this. So eventually we ended up in the iteration we have right now, where the camel sort of jumps to its feet and then starts to panic, which seems a little bit more realistic reaction when you are getting attacked by a zombie. Another thing that's important for us that when we add mobs to Minecraft is that we really want them to fit into the environment they live in. For the camel, that they eat cacti, or cactus, of course. Yeah. Like they eat food that is available in the desert, and that's the biome where you can find them. Yeah. So some of the things you can do while riding the camel is that you can sprint with the camel. Uh, so you can even sprint while you're hungry because the camel isn't hungry. And the camel has so tall legs, they can actually walk over fences. And another really cool thing is that you can actually ride two people in the on the camel, so one can be the one driving it and the other one can pretty much just chill out and have their lunch at the back seat. You were supposed to tell us about an easter egg, right? Well, I don't want to tell you what it is, <laughs> <laughs> but I want to think. So it's a very, very tiny little easter egg, but I think it's charming. And I haven't seen anyone finding it yet. It's related to those adorable floppy ears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One thing with the 120 update that I think is really beautiful is that it's like the journey that connects all the features together. Some that we will announce very soon. Uh, and we can explore them together, like on the camel, going on a journey and explore it all. And I, yeah, I just love that the journey ties it all together in the 120 update. What really blows my mind is how many dedicated community members we have that actually take their free time to report the issues they find in the game. That makes a really big difference for us because we are a pretty small team. So it saves us a lot of time and we are really, really thankful for that. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs>